hello guys i want to show you how to design this amazing website now let me show you around let's go to the website isn't it beautiful first let me take you back let me refresh the page here good and now let's go down nice animation and let's see services okay and then we have a banner here just to show you and then portfolio to show you sample of your work okay let me cancel that and let's go down client logo this is amazing website okay so i'm going to show you how to design this simple website my name is amakwenes the founder of Irida the guitars and Irida host first of all before you can design a website you need a domain and a web hosting okay if you don't have a reader the guitar we have a web hosting uh branch part of reader the guitar that is a reader host and let me take you to this is my official website or our official website uh that's my picture those who don't know much about me and this is our portfolio website you can visit us to learn more about Irida the guitars and what we do so let me take you to our hosting platform that is Irida host the link is below this video okay and click enter that is Irida host okay we have the cheapest web hosting server okay yes so come here if you don't have a domain hosting you need the two of them in order to start okay um maybe you are a new in this training so let me show you how you can get the domain hosting so that you can start as i said earlier this is about building on your own brand which means that selecting of a domain name is very, very important so the question is what is your brand name what name do you have in mind mine is irida.com or irida digitals so what do you have in mind okay don't use my name it's supposed to be your own brand okay just come up with a unique name which will significance your or which will make your business stand out okay good so um if you already have that in mind then let's proceed now we have different packages here okay we have starter uh, professional business and premium okay with this premium uh, uh, account or this premium package uh, it means that you'll be able to add unlimited domain so after creating your own website if for instance uh, after you have acquired all the skills that you need in this training and you get a contract with this package you'll be able to i mean add your client website on this platform okay and it's unlimited meaning you can add more uh, uh websites on this package okay the same thing this one is for the business one here the business one is only three websites okay i'm talking about the domain in terms of domain but you can add up to 10 uh, 10 subdomain okay good but this one is 20 subdomain i will explain those terms later if you don't know much don't worry you or you can ask question in our whatsapp platform if you are if you are not in any of our, our whatsapp platform i would advise you see there is a, a, a number uh on this uh, video you can just contact me on whatsapp and i'll give you the link to join the group okay and this is for two domain you see we have two hosted domain and one hosted domain okay if i were you i would go for a premium one because which means that after uh we have completed this the job that you'll be getting you'll be you, you can add it on this uh, package so let me proceed with uh start now okay so we are here as i said earlier you need to have a domain name okay mine is irida.com okay so if i search for irida.com what do you see because i'm already using this domain so it does not exist anymore okay so if i want to continue then i can go with let's say irida degetas okay yeah i it's a reader digitals but i i i wanted to use a short name that's why uh, i bought reader.com okay so i can even go with a uh, reader digitals okay and it's there but um you know something after that what do you have to do then 
if you don't have to do way that it means that you have to register a new one and the price is here 170 ghana cities but if you already have a domain with another registrar so then you can come here and enter the name here okay good if you want to transfer the domain to us just come here but if you want to maintain where you bought the domain but you just want to use it on this platform then you can use you can use the third one which says i will use my existing domain and update the name server okay that's it it's very simple but right now uh, let me select just this okay and the price is 170 ghana cities i can click continue good and after that i can just click continue so over here the premium package one year is 300 ghana cities so let me continue don't don't change anything okay over here there is no need i will advise you to check all these okay uh, but for this one the id protection you pay extra 10 ghana cities if you want to go for it you can go but i don't want so i will just leave it and continue the id protection is about protecting your contact your information okay good that's what about in terms uh when it comes uh which um i'm talking about the email account and the phone number okay good now let's continue with good and over here which means that uh with 300 for premium one and then do me which is 170 cities will sum up to 470 if you're okay with it then you, you click continue so you have to fill the billing details here you have to fill all the details here then after that you can just click continue okay do, good to do that but you know something i already have it to be and i have an account already so i don't i don't want to go through all this process so i will just go to view cards and remove all these from here or i can just leave here just select all these and click space bar to remove it and continue so that i'm going to i'm now going to add login to okay so over here this is my login details i can just click login and i am on my dashboard okay so if you just paid for a domain hosting after logging in it will take you to this platform okay so first of all you have to click here, services okay in case you encounter any problem just reach out to me uh we are here 24 7 when you go to our website that is everyday.com here everyday hosts here you see i have my number here just reach out to me on whatsapp or you can do that through this icon here and we will respond to you as soon as possible now i will just click business i will click here the space here let me go back you see this is my hosting package and the domain okay which attached to this package so i will just click here here good and after that i can go to look into cpanel click that and automatically uh, it will, you'll be able to get access to the cpanel okay good now this is an old account and i have to add a domain okay good uh because the the one that is already added uh i have a website on that let me click let me just see this is the domain name so when i click here let's see i already have a website on this domain okay this this just sample site okay uh, i was making a tutorials on how to design a portfolio website so through that i made this website and i think it looks beautiful okay so just look at it okay so let me close this i don't have time to do that so right now i have to add a new domain so that i'll be able to uh, build a website on that domain and that is we call it adam domain okay good so because i'm using the premium package because when you look at uh, the package when let me go back here I'm talking about the hosting here so when you when I go back here uh, I will just want to show you the package okay good the package that I'm using here is business I hope you can see from here this is a hosting 
share hosting and that is business okay because it's business i can add up to three domain okay it's three domain so right now i'm going to add another one okay and that is the, uh, how to add the add-on domain so let's move on to go just go down scroll down here and locate domains okay so here you see we have domains here click here domains good okay so this is already added domain or the main domain to this account so i'm now going to add an, another domain so i will just click here good so over here what i'm going to do is i will just enter the domain name here and that is area dot uh, xyz this is the domain name okay good and it's a uh, share document route okay i don't want to do that okay so uncheck this just uncheck that okay good no so after that just proceed with submit and automatically it has been added okay good so we have added a new domain okay so in case you just bought this uh, package it means that you don't have to add Adam domain because you don't even have extra domain so you don't have to take part in this part you don't have to do anything here just watch it don't do it okay i hope you understand that good now because i just added this domain if i want to open this one right now uh i'm okay it's working now it's live it's just that the ss certificate is not active because i just added it but it will install automatically so let's leave it now let's go back to the main account so click here click on the logo here good and it'll take you back to the main account so those who just bought this hosting uh hosting through this video and uh, now we are going to continue from here okay good so what we are going to do is we are going to look at how to install our software and that is the most popular one called wordpress okay good so let's go down here and locate uh, you can click on this or click on that okay so let's go with let's say um this one softer close okay click on that after that you see it install click that good and we are here good now this is the main you see the main the main domain which is attached to this account has been selected already so those who are those who just bought this package and the domain you're good to go you can just go ahead and complete this information uh admin username just enter your username or your short name i normally go with every data guitars okay and the password let me hide the password you can just enter your password here uh, let me change the password good you can enter your password here and then here you can enter your email account okay this you see it has added uh, that is um, a business based email account that is admin at radar.xyz but i have not created this um do, i have not yet created this domain okay but you can leave it and create it later which we will cover in this uh, tutorial the site name we will leave it for now and then the site description here we will leave it for now okay later we will do that so after that everything is okay i will advise you to select this one because it will improve the speed of your website okay it is very very necessary okay good so now we are good to go as i said if you just bought this package that you don't have to change anything but if you just added an adam domain okay and especially those who students i mean those in my paid class you see most of you are using xyz so if through that through this tutorial you just bought a dot com because i would advise you to go with a dot com so that uh, in this trading uh, after we we will cover some series of steps on how to create a website after we are done with that we will look at how to build our own stunning um portfolio website similar to mine okay beautiful one to mine so that uh because that's the 
that's there it's, it's your home okay your home that is your brand or let me say your store because that's where people will uh or who, those who are searching for your services that's where they will they, the first place that they will come okay so it's very very important to have a stunning or beautiful portfolio website okay good so let's move on so if you're you have just added another domain just click here and change it to this one okay change it to this one this one is just a subdomain so just leave it so change it to this one okay good so i will i will change it to this but those who just bought this domain through this tutorial okay just maintain it maintain this one because you don't have anything yet to change but those who just uh, the old student can just or who just bought only a domain can ch change it from here good now let's go down here and click install and let me go up i don't want to save the password no. good now it's successful so straight away we want to assess our website this one will take us to the front end of the site okay this is the website we just installed as you can see the ss certificate is active now you see your connection is secure good okay good but if you want to go to the dashboard okay then you have to click here the dashboard is where all the magics happen okay that's who that is where we do the tricks everything to make it a beautiful like this website okay i think those who are familiar with wordpress know what i'm talking about okay so for now i will close this one and then this that's where we install the wordpress okay and now we are here with the dashboard of our new install wordpress and also um and also uh, that is my input for your website but let me close this one now so this is that's what as you can see this is what we are going to we are going to modify this website right now so that it will look like redire.com you see it's not beautiful so that's what we are going to do so let's come back here now our what we are going to do right now is to clean the dashboard because it's not looking good at all okay so we have to clean it so to do that just come here uncheck all here checkbox here just uncheck it okay then after that just click that we are not done this installation came with default post that's why we have let's see if i can see it over here okay so we it has a default post and that's hello world and you want to get rid of it so i can just click trash then click here trash then we empty the trash it also came with pages so let's go to pages here and check all of them book action move to trash apply we go to trash empty the trash good we are not done let's go to settings here permalinks you see when you put the mouse here you see we can see permalinks here click that and we will select post name okay you see the name has been selected but we will change it to post name then after that save it okay good so what else now we have done that let's go to okay so we are done with the cleaning of the wordpress dashboard okay so let me go to the dashboard and see good we are done with that so um our next step we are going to look at how to let's look at the name settings let's go to settings okay so over here uh this is just a sample site okay it's not like we are building our portfolio website now so then we will just delete this I will just put something there, okay, like uh um, radar the guitar, okay, this one that is I just just put something there because when we are building our portfolio website and I will I will show you what to put there, but it's about the kind of website that you are going to build, okay. So you see, so you see when you look at this one, uh the first one is Irida the guitars. That's the name of my brand. Okay, slash 
Web Design Agency, Ghana. Okay, it's very, very important for SEO because when someone is searching for web design agency in Ghana, the probability of showing your website is high. For instance, web design agency Ghana. Let me click enter. Let's see. Good. So I'll go down here. This is just business uh, listing. Okay. Yeah. Business. Okay. So after that, the next one is my website. Look at this. It's my website. This is evidai.com. And you can see pictures of my website. Okay. This is my website now. Now let's go down. So all this is, is the content of my website. Let's go down here. And this is for another person, someone's. Okay, so you see, mm -hmm. that's what I'm talking about. So it's very, very important. So that's why I have, uh, have, I have entered this one here. And this one is, um, the tag lag. Okay, it's a desc short description about your business. So I can say that, um, you deserve, but you don't have to write that. Okay. Now, when you look at this one, uh, when you look at mine here, you see, uh, what do you see here? Web design agency in Ghana. We, we specialize in creating stunning web design services such as equipment. So you see, that is the, my tagline for, uh, my website, ibridai.com. Okay. So here, I just want to enter. You deserve, you deserve. Okay, so that is, you deserve to be seen on the internet, okay? Oh, I think the experience is wrong here. Okay, good. And after that, I can just go ahead and update it. So you see the name now, you can see it here. Good, and that is the best. Okay, so now we are done with all this. Our next step is to look at how to install our themes and plugins okay so the first thing that we are going to install now is let's go back here so go to appearance and you see themes here you see the installation came with some default themes okay this is the active one okay i hope you can see that i can activate this Okay, and now this one is now active. I can just refresh the page here, and this one is active. Okay, good. So let's come back here. I don't want any of these theme. Okay, so let me install the most popular one called Blosky theme. Okay, and I'm going to show you this tutorial is about how to create a website within uh, some short time. Okay, so let's go here and enter block. Broski, okay, and this is the theme. I will click install. Activate. Now I have to come here and delete all these from there because we only want one active theme. We don't want to have a lot of themes because it will make our website very heavy. Okay? Please subscribe to this channel. Like comment you can even share so that others can also benefit from this course we have um activated our current that's the broski team and now this is what we need to do is very very important when you look here you see we have uh enable auto update you have to do that you have to enable auto update so that anytime there's a free ver uh, um, what do you call it a current version it will update it automatically and i think it's already out of date so let me update it from here 
okay so it's done now we need to install the companion of Bosky theme is very important so click on that and it will install and activate it okay it is done good so right now you see we are now in a different interface okay so over here there is some thing that we need to do which is very very important to me let's go to extension here in case for some reason you were not taken to this part then i'll advise you let me go back to dashboard i'll advise you to locate the Broski theme here click on that and then you see extension click that okay after that cookies concept uh let me first open this site in a new tab as you can see we don't have anything here this is a bros uh, broski theme interface okay let me go back here and activate this and after that let me come back here and refresh the page you see that you have the good now we have the cookies concept here okay good and now let's go back here right now we need to install um one most popular way, uh, page builder called uh, elementor okay right now we don't need these ones let me delay this one and also hello this one too uh, this is the companion we just installed this plugin is very important it will speed your it will speed up your website but for now we are working on the website we need to activate it or else it will be creating a program for us so let me deactivate the two of them okay and this one too good so now we are done with that now let's go back to here add new plugin and let's go to elementor so as you can see this is experience elementor just enter that and let us install this one and activate good so it's now active okay so let's come back to the dashboard okay good so this is what we are going to do okay so we are here now if you have not if you don't have elementor account i would advise you to do that okay it's very, very important there's so many features you can do it you can use it without the account okay for now let me proceed with that later i'll show you how to go about that and so let me remove this elementor from here the overview here so i've done that okay good so now i have installed elementor we, we are now going to import the demo uh, template okay so let's come back here and let's go to uh this website that is um prime okay uh, let me see if i remember is this website actually belongs to my client i just completed this project um gh.com let me see if i still remember okay so um good yes this is the website it's a new website i'm still working on it i'm not done okay so look at this website and tell me if it is not beautiful to me it's very very beautiful amazing look at the header Okay, everything is perfect and there's a website i mean there is online shop here that is for gates okay good very very amazing website okay good and that's the footer look at the footer okay good that's the footer and everything is so amazing so i can just close that good i'm not going to open page by page if you want to visit the site just go to you can see the address on the address bar here you can just visit the site okay good now let's come back here you see i made this website through this template that i'm going to use for this tutorial okay that's why i opened this one just for you to see okay so just look at the layout here is it not looking beautiful yes it's beautiful okay i wanted to use the frame okay uh yeah so i'm going to show you how i was able to design this website let's go back to the dashboard here and now let's go to Broski here and let me click Broski and we have starter site okay so click that so we are going to import starter from here then after that we will look at editing the it's okay how to edit using elemental uh, page builder okay so we have a lot of template here the free one and the pro one 
so those with a yellow icon here as you can see it says pro okay so that's the so let me look through uh, and i'm going to show you the template that i use for this website okay okay good this is the template okay first let me go to preview the template so that you look at it this is a template okay in fact this website was being made or designed from this template okay let me show you around this template okay but when you look at it you see uh it's not the same is it the same it's not the same I have changed everything completely okay just to suit uh uh my client's needs okay that's all that's all see we have this one here and when i put a mouse on it you see it changes okay that's very nice now let's come back here now we have seen the uh, template layout okay good so let me close that and now let's come back to our dashboard let me put this one here so this is our front end of the site okay so i'm, I'm going to import it so just click import and as you can see it says install the chat team click that to install next okay so the page view that we are going to use is elementor so let's click that and click next okay and then we have to continue it will install wp form first so click next okay and next so the installation is ongoing okay so it's successful i hope you can see that now let me go to the other end here and refresh the page so voila as you can see we have the template on our website okay so the next stage is we are going to look at how to edit this template okay uh yeah we are not actually trying to design exact okay that's the same website as my client website but I'm trying to show you how to go about it okay that is all okay and i hope you can see everything is intact look at the yellow color this one and it's so amazing the icon here it's so beautiful to me it's very, very beautiful okay so now uh let me okay so let's proceed with that so as i said we are going to look at how to edit the template so uh, okay please subscribe to this channel like comments you can even share so that others can also benefit from this course okay so let's go back to our dashboard so we are here now what we are going to do now let's check pages you see uh, all the pages that you see here it has been added on our platform so you see all the pages are here and so let's first look at editing of the home page this one okay so we are going to edit the home page so we can just click here edit with elemental good okay so we are here uh, what i'm going to do is first let me uncheck this or i will just click here and reduce this one okay so that i'll be able to remove that okay uh, yeah my screen is too small so i will just click here to remove that and i can also remove this one and later i can just stretch it back okay good so this is the front end now let me close this cookies policy okay good so in case this is not your image if you want to put your own image there let me show you how to go about it uh just you see i wanted to click here but it's not giving me the chance so i will have to click navigator here then you can come here and click on that so you see it has been selected when you come here then the image is here okay let me click on that and show you how it is so let's come back here i hope you can see that so it's like they have added the image uh, the image is part of the uh the template like okay good so that's the image is part of the it has a background okay that's the dark background let me put it in that way so in case this is not uh, your image and you want to you change it it's very simple uh, you can just go to canva and create similar one okay and create similar one okay but mine is different i added a picture and video okay yeah let me refresh it you see that um you see it has a background picture before the video will come later okay good so let's come back here 
I can just go to let's say um any other platform okay so let me go to click here and click that so I think I have the video that I used to create this website okay so it's here so I can just click here and look at the video uh, I don't know if the video is inside this is the video okay and then other images okay and the image to let me see okay and this image okay so i'll click that and select it okay so i will just click here select it and it will place this one good hope you can see that let me remove this from there okay so that's the image and it's very nice i can just click here to publish it now let's come back here and refresh the page okay so this is the image and i hope the nine website is looking great too good in case you want it you see when you look at this one oh wow i made a mistake okay that is okay now okay. okay so let me bring it here now when you look at this one i hope you can see that the test um the test here the heading here is at the middle you can do the same here so in case you want to put this one at the middle uh just let me click here you see they have made it uh 60 percent you can just make it 100 percent so that it will cover the entire space okay good and what else i can just reduce it this one is very big so i can go to typography here it's 140 and make it like 50 just to reduce it 50 is even too small let me make it 70 let me remove that and i can just click here to center it and also this one to center that okay i can also click here to center this okay but i don't want this social icon so i can just click here right click it and click delete just to remove the social icon i can just come here and update it okay this is like an agency website so i don't have to make it um like someone's name is not the best okay i have to put the agency name uh, since i don't have anything in mind i will just put it with the guitar here so i will come here or i can just put any uh tagline okay which reflect uh what we do okay um so reader the guitar we have a motto that is let's design your future okay okay so i have i can just enter that okay good and that is nice and i can just put the name here that is indicates irida the guitars okay so let me put the name here irida the guitars good and publish that uh okay what can i uh we can also just put a description here something nice okay catchy like um number one web design agency in ghana oh come on that was a mistake uh, okay let me complete it ghana okay and copy that let me copy that so here's supposed to be you read out the guitars and i'll come here and enter uh this the description here that is number one blah 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 here okay good i can decide to add button okay uh, one thing is that you see um i mean uh, their head is too close to the menu so I'll have, i want to create a space here so what i'm going to do is let me click here again and select the first one okay i just want to select this container okay good after that let's go to advance and um, okay i think there is already enough space over there i don't know why but let me increase that and see so okay so that is okay 
I think because of the that's the nature of the uh, image. So the 300 is okay. Let me maintain that. Okay. Or oh, something like this. What I really like. Okay. Uh, let me go back here. You see, this one has been selected already. Let's come back here. And now you see we have minimum height. Uh, I want to go with the VH. Okay. The VH is about the size of your screen, the size of the visitor screen. Okay. Which means that the hero section here, it will occupy. So let me make it about 100. If you make it 80, it means that it will occupy the 80% of the uh, visitor screen. Okay. The one who is, I mean, uh, going through your platform okay yeah that's what what is that's what it means okay but i want to make it 100 percent increase that so let's come back here and let me refresh that okay so uh it's not bad at all it's looking great but still i have to leave the space here so let me come back here again go to advance and here i just want to create a space over there uh, let me make it like 500 and see because Okay, good. No, 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 not the test. Okay, so uh, let me maintain the 300. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Let me save that. Let me go to the navigator again and click here and see if. Okay, so let's leave it. It's not working. I think this one is okay. Just that the picture is too close there and let me maintain that and let's see okay so i can cancel that so i want to add a button here okay good so let me come back here and search for button okay so this i can just drag this and drop it under the test i want to center that okay good and then let's see okay so here i want to enter read more okay good i can put a link here or i can link it to one of the pages like services okay so this is a page i can just link to that and publish that okay so i want to style it so come to star and over here let's go down here let's see um let me make it this color the background will take this color okay we we'll take this color the background okay good or let me make it the light one good okay so what else uh, i can just go down here and then pattern here i will uncheck that and make the top here 15 then the bottom 15 and the side about 35 or so okay uh, yeah okay so 36 and here to 36 okay i hope you can see that good now i want to add border okay so border here so the border here i will select solid and i will put one here so meaning the border weight is one okay and i will go with the same color for the border I know what I'm going to do. So the radius, the border radius, uh, if you want to have an over shape, then you can put about 50 here so that you have that kind of over shape. But if you want it to have like a rectangular one, then just put zero there, okay, so that you have a rectangular one. I want to add a shadow, so I can just click box shadow. So this one has been selected. I can just click that so that it will add a shadow. Okay, good. I can just go down here, click it again, and increase the horizontal and also the vertical. Make it five five. Okay. So let's come back here so that you'll be able to see what the changes that we have done so far. I hope you can see that. So, and I want to add some kind of animation. Okay. So let's come back here. I want to style it. Okay. So let's go up here and then uh over here we will go to hover okay so click on that and this time the test color i will go for this and then the background color i will make it transparent okay 
and then the border color i will still go with that too okay so uh that is it let me close that you see when i put a mouse on it you see now we cannot see the border anymore okay or i can make uh, the background white okay so let me go with the white color here and let's see so with that okay this one is border okay okay so now the border is white and the background too i want to have a white background okay this one is the background okay okay so the background too uh, i want so let me put this one back to its place okay so right now i'll go with white so the border is white and then the background is white so let's see hope you can see that it's just that this one is too light so over here i will come here and make it bold width will be somewhere 500 so that yeah it will appear well and let me update it so let me come back here and refresh the page now let's see the change that we have done so far okay is it not beautiful it's very very beautiful okay so you can just go ahead now i can show you how i was able to add this one okay and let's come back here i can just go down here I can just go down here okay so here i will just click you see there is a gap okay a gap so let me click here you see there's a gap here let me click here and go to advance uh, yes and this is not from this one this one is below that so then it means that uh let me check this go to navigator and click here good and when we come to advance again you see that there's a, a, a gap a margin margin of what 100 so i want to remove this margin from here okay this margin so i will just come back here and remove that you see it's now closed now there's no margin here so i can just click on the plus icon and click another container i want to add something like this so i want to add another container i will click here and then what can i do I will click this one and select i want three okay this one is one two three but this one is just a half we don't have three here but i will go with these two okay good now let me remove that and after that i can just select one okay just click here and right click it and duplicate it so that you get three of them so let me update it and what do we see first okay let me see okay good okay good so now let's see we want to have this color here okay so this is what we're going to do let me come back here as you can see we have another one inside this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for icon box select here enter icon box okay so just drag this and put it inside okay good so right now i want to let's see okay so let's come back here and i want to have this one here and also yes on top here is okay good and what else uh yeah okay so what i'm going to do is let's come back to content again and i will delete this one the description so that's leaving only the title let's say i want to add this one what is here experience professionals okay so i just want to come back here in the title i will change it to that okay good and then what icon do i have here is like okay user so go here and enter user and i will have i just want to have something like a group okay so this one is okay and i will just now i want to have a circle around it so i will select stack good or oh, this one frame okay the frame one is okay good i like the frame one so we have to reduce it's too big so let's come back here and we see we have icon click that and then the size we can make it like 25 is okay let me look at this one 
yeah 25 is okay good so now we have this now let's click here again this time i want to okay so let me come back here okay let's go back here again and let's see okay so i want to click here just to make sure that this one is at the center not only that let's go to advance and we can add a pattern around it so i can make it like 25 so 25 on top here this side and that side okay yes yes i think that would be very nice and we want to add this color we want to add a color so we can just go ahead and then click here star and go for color so we will click here and i will select the color that i want to add you see it's looking great i want to reduce the test okay so go to content here let's go down here typography i can make it like um okay so let's make it um like 17 it's too small like let's see 18 okay good that is nice 18 is cool okay so right now what i'm going to do is let's click here i want to make it uh, the icon okay so uh, let's make the primary one uh, white okay so that's the primary color and that is cool okay good now we want to add a test like as we have this one here let me copy that we want to add test so let's come back here i will click here and then look for test editor okay this is the test editor i'll drag it and drop it here and then i will then select all these and paste that and i can make the test color white okay i don't want to have i don't want it to have a deep white so i can just reduce it okay good so that uh the title here will stand out okay so let me update it come here sorry come here and refresh the page so as you can see we have this is it not looking beautiful okay now let's see what we can do here okay so this one i want to close i think there is a gap here which i need to close so we have icon space let me see now this one is okay uh, like seven is okay uh what else um description okay so let's go back let's come back here or oh, icon content spacing let's see you see so i can just close that and now let me click here and see so so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here and i'll go to advance uncheck the margin and push this one forward or up okay so let me extend it okay so now i think this one uh, is not at the right place so uh, let me remove that okay okay so i will first delete this good and let me look for another test editor and put it there so i will drag this okay okay so this is what i'm going to do okay so let me make it white again or uh, if this one is not helping then let's go with this one let me remove the test editor and let's go with the default one okay so i will just click here and go to content but we have to go to the top content here so that we we can paste our content here okay and that is cool let's come back here and go to content go to star come to content again then we are going to change the description color to something like white okay not other deep white so this one is okay if you don't want to um so we can decide to save this color okay so click the plus icon here and save the color 
so next time you don't have to search for it again so we are done let me come back here and refresh the page okay so what do you see it's very nice now not only that this is what we are going to do click here again the edge and go to advance uh, we want to put margin around it so let's make it about 10. Uh, we can make it 15. okay good and let me save that you see over here it has like uh, that is curve edge okay so i'm going to do the same here now let's come back to advance minimize that we have border click that so border radius here let's make it 20 uh, or 25 or so so that uh, let me extend it you see we now have that edge okay uh we want this one to um we, we want to add shadow as with this one we have shadow so we can decide to add shadow too so what i'm going to do i'll click here so that um we can apply shadow and even this color too you can just add color here okay color to the uh, other, other that is to the shadow okay uh let me see if it's going to be nice so i will pick the color from here and then i will click the shadow again and then click here and i will paste ctrl v to paste the color okay good but let me click there again and reduce the opacity of the color so right now let me save it and now increase that so you see you can see that there is some kind of shadow or i can just increase the color i think it's not well it's not visible so let me just increase it and over here the horizontal i can just make it two and then let's go down here okay let me go down here so the spread come on let me click there again the spread is zero let's make it like three let me go up and see you see you can see the spread now you can see it well okay good now this is what i'm going to do let me click here again go up so this time um, the pattern which is 20 across board i'm not going to do that so let me remove everything from here so that i will uncheck that now on top here i want to make it like 50 50 is too much so something like 30 then the bottom two to be somewhere 30 then let's make here like 15 okay so here 15 okay good and here to 15 good and i will save that now let me click here and see so you see it's now looking good now in order to so that it will be on top of this one uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to because i took a lot of time designing this i don't want to do them one after the other so i will just have to duplicate all these okay just duplicate it okay so after that you can just come back here and delete the rest of them okay so i'll just click here and delete it so i can save that and now i can just click here and i want to move it to the top so what i'm going to do after clicking here go to advance uncheck this margin and put something like 70 there or i think somewhere like 80 or let's make it 100 okay so you see it has created a space here but if you put negative in front of it then it will be on top of it okay i hope you can see that good now i can save that and come back here and refresh the page okay good tell me if this is not looking good looking amazing you see look at the way we have been changing things here and that is very nice okay good it's all about creativity you see this color uh, is down it's not as deep as this one so you can even change that okay so you can just click here and then go to yeah the normal type is okay then we select this one so that it will be the same as this one save that good now we have to check if this uh this design is responsive 
now change of the other icon and the text is not all that difficult just click on this one if you want to change the icon you can just go for icon that you want uh, let's say this and place it there if you want to change the text you see you have it here you can just go here let's say okay it's still the same then all that sorry all that you need to do is to change this text okay you can make it web design good so i can then update it so far so good now let's check if let's check if is very if it is responsive okay so i will come here and go to here then i will look at it you see on desktop it's okay it's just that i have to modify this one so this is what i'm going to do uh on i will click here and go to so over here this is what i'm going to do the margins i will change it so let me uncheck that uh the top will be like 30 and then or 25 let me make it 25 okay and then the bottom to 25 and then the side is 10 and then here to is 10 okay good after that uh we have margin around it the margin we can close it and make it like yeah we can make it like uh, about five margin okay and then we can also uh, change the font size and so forth so the title let me cut, go back to content and then the title i will make it like um 18 and then the content let me go down here so the content description let me click here and make it like and make it 15 or 16 okay it depends so let me close that let me update it and now as you can see it's looking good so i can just click here and write copy that come back here and paste the star come back here and paste the star too you see it's not looking good okay good good so that is cool not only that so let's go here okay so let me update it and we are done okay so it's looking amazing or we can also if you can even reduce this one but i think it's okay let me create a space here between that so what i'm going to do is let me go to the navigator and click on the first one then i just want to put uh, increase the margin here so make this one about 200 okay so 200 is okay let me close that and let's see so you see this now we have in our space here good so let me update it okay we can also check the mobile so the mobile is just one one and i think everything is good here okay the arrangement is okay and all that we need to change is the test which is too big so click here come here and we can enter like something like 50 good the 50 is okay good the 50 is okay this one is too far i have to close the gap let me see if there is a space there okay so you can see that this one there is a space here okay so i can just click here to reduce it or just uh, click here to leave a small like a small space okay good now everything is perfect i can update it and come back to the original space original that is the desktop view please subscribe to this channel like comment you can even share so that others can also benefit from this course um here we are we have done all this okay so um right now uh what are we going to do let's add an uh let's add some kind of animation okay now for instance when we go to eradar.com we have this one here see let me show you something okay so let me go let me go down okay so uh, okay yeah so this is what we are going to do we are going to add animation here so that it will look very nice okay 
Now, before we will continue, first, I've already logged into my account. Let me log out so that I will show you how to log in. Okay, so let me go back to the dashboard. Let's say you want to log in. There's, there's a two ways of doing that. Okay, you can use your uh, a reader host through a reader host to log in. Okay, or you can just uh, log in to your website without uh, uh, using the Eraser Who's platform. Okay, in case if you want to go by the Eraser Who's platform, you just click login. Then you come back here to services. You click here. You go to cPanel. Login to cPanel. Okay, so on the cPanel here, locate WordPress. So here, locate WordPress. Click that. And here you can see login. When you click that, it will log in auto. It you you'll be able to log in automatically. Now let me close that and close this too. In case if you want to log in using your WordPress dashboard, like through your WordPress without going back to the reader host, then here just come back here and enter slash wp dash admin. But bear in mind that you should. I mean. You already know your password, okay? If you don't know your password, you won't be able to log in. You need, you need what the password and the username or your the email account. So after that, just uh, wp. That is your domain slash wp dash admin. Then you click enter. So over here, you can enter your username here. Then your password. I will paste my password and click login. Okay, so I'm on my dashboard. So straight away, let us continue with the tutorials. Okay, so let me open this in a new tab. And this, let me go to the back, the front end. Good. So this, uh, in fact, I'm going to speed up. And we are not going to design each page. I just want to show you how to use the tools here. Okay, good. So first of all, um, I want to make some change to the header. Okay, to the header. I don't like it. Okay. So what am I? Uh, okay, so let's do it in this way. So over here, uh, let's go to customize. You see, uh, it's in small letters. That is, I don't like that. Okay, so go to header. Click the menu here, and then click here, design. So you can select here, and you make it uppercase. Good. Let me publish that. Okay, good. So let's come back here and refresh the page. So you see it's now back to uppercase and the letter is i don't like this i just want to have it uh white i want it to be white so um let me go back to the desktop and click here again then here what i'm going to do is let's see the design okay this is the initial color select it again and select the white okay so the initial color is supposed to be white then hover color okay so that one too is this one including this one okay so let me publish that and let's come back here and refresh the page why is it not changing okay let me go back so it is what i'm going to do let me go back to colors uh, let's go back here and colors so the colors the text color here i want to make it something like white yes good and close that and i think let me come back to uh, desktop the i don't like it's too big so let's go to the header and here let's let me click here good and come back here again good so you see 30 so let's make it um like 12 okay and uppercase good and then what else okay good let me click on that again so we don't have okay that's it so we are done here let me go here again and i will click here once again and that one too i will make it okay yeah it's still 12 and then that is okay and we have to make it uppercase uppercase 
okay so it will change don't worry so and that is 12 good here is it's not all that white it's like transparent let me make it white okay i can click here and select the main menu and publish that so you see it has changed let me come back here again see everything is looking nice the 12 is too small let me make it like 13 and publish that okay now let me come back here and refresh the page okay good you see now i think this one is okay but the header is too big for me so it is what i'm going to do let's go back here let me go back to desktop and i will click here you see it's 120 i will make it like 90 so that's okay good come back here and refresh the page and now let's see see it's now it's not that big anymore good and that is nice okay so so far so good we have made we, we have made a lot of changes here now let me come back to customize i want to leave here let me check the footer okay so let me take advantage of that and make some change here you see we have copyright wordpress theme by creative i don't like that okay but okay so let me wait for a while later i'll come back to the footer or uh, let me work on that okay so let, let me go, go back here and then let's go back again and you see footer here click that good so here that is a copyright uh, i will delete everything from here so it will be like copyright at current year then um this one what's the name of this website i can make it a red eye indicators okay good now um yeah you see reader digitals okay so if i want to add a link which i can connect this to my main website i can just select this then and click this then i will insert my website link here that is www.iridai.com good and i can click apply after that click the pencil icon again come to settings and check this okay so that it will be it will open it in a new tab when someone click on it okay that's simple as that let me click here and see you see uh, the test colors are what is uh, this one is too big let me make it like 13 good and not only that okay let me click again so 13 but is is it's almost like black color but let me make it something like white now we have uh so the code that we are going to use is c7 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 okay so let me copy that good and publish it now let me come back here and refresh the page please subscribe to this channel like comment you can even share so that others can also benefit from this course okay so let me go down here and i hope you okay good so uh, this is what i want i hope you can see the letters well it's very nice and this one too uh okay it's still there so uh let me look at it once again so let's go back here let me click here or oh, let me go here so we have why i have okay so let me publish it again okay good and refresh the page okay good so you see it's gone so copyright at 2024 read out the guitars okay so right now uh this one did not appear well so let's see okay yeah it's because of this so i will add the same thing here 
good so that uh the reader the guitar here will appear well. okay good it's nice and we have terms and conditions so we can do the same here for widget area five and that is terms and condition let's see color uh you make it this okay and then this color to that okay and then the last one we will go for this one okay let me publish that let's come back here and refresh the page oh why it did not change okay so i don't know why okay so let me publish that and refresh the page again okay so we will look at it or i can decide to click here and change it with css okay now later i'll show you uh what i'm going to do is good code or uh, come back here and then test color um we have the color test so i can go with this color okay good and now let's see if um let me see if it is okay you see it has changed so uh let me go there again okay good that's the color so i'll copy the code from here so i'm trying to use this css to modify that okay so i can copy the code or cut it now when i cancel that you see it's gone but uh, I can just paste the code here, just go back to, okay, here, the main page here. You see additional CSS, okay, good. So click here, and then we can decide to close this and paste the CSS here, and publish that. Okay, so let's see. It's now back. Good, so far so good. So uh, we are done with the footer. What about these links? In case if you want to change the phone number, you see the phone number is not your number. Okay, so in case if you want to change that, let me show you. And this one, the link to, which is not linked to any page. Okay, these pages. Okay, the site menu here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let me leave here. And let's go to the dashboard. Now we are going to install a plugin that will help us to do it. Or it will make the work so easy now let's go to plugins add new and go to plastic widget this one plastic widget install now activate okay so it is done now let's come back to let's go back to now let's go to appearance and go to widget okay so through the installation of that plugin you'll be able to have access to widgets okay so and that is it will make it easy for us to customize the footer okay good so when you look at the first uh, footer widget area one let's look at that we have this test and then the logo so which means that when we open here so this is the logo the logo is here this is the logo and the test okay so if you want to change it just go ahead and replace it you can just click here to add the new logo you can just click here then you select the logo from here and replace it with that and the test too you can just change it uh the same thing applied to this the newsletter i don't and the here the that is the pages okay these pages now here too you see is it is not linked to any page they have just added hash so which means that you can click the pencil icon here then you delete the hash from there then you put that is the home page so you have to come here uh, select the logo see now you are at the home select the, this come back here paste it inside and click apply 
Okay, good. If you want to go to portfolio, uh, you have to search. There's no portfolio here, so we have about. So I'll come to about here and copy the link from here. Go back there, click the pencil icon, paste it, and apply it. Let me publish it. Now you see, I do not change the portfolio and the block. Let's see. And let me refresh the page first. Okay, good. So if you go down here and then home, when I click home, it will take us back to the home. But if I click portfolio, I don't have that. So you see, but if I click about us, it will take us back to about us. So that is it. Okay, so we are done with the footer. Now you know how to go about it. Let me leave here. Okay, so after making the change, uh, if I were you, I would just deactivate or delete the classic widget because I don't need it anymore. I wanted to make change and I've done the change. When you delete it, the change, uh, it will not affect the change. Okay, yeah. So I'm done with that. And if I go down again and click on the about it will take us to about page you see still working now so far so good uh let me come back here and go to the front end we are going to continue editing this website so you see let me go here and go to edit with elementor okay so let me go down here and this one i want to add some kind of animation so i will click here sorry i will click here and what I'm going to do is let me go to advance, uh, minimize this, and go to emotion effects. And here, so entrance animation, I will go with fade up. You see how it is moving. So I will then publish that. Okay, so let me come back here and refresh the page. And let me drag it down. You see, the, only this one is moving. So we will have to apply to all of them. So I will click here and copy that. I will copy. Come here, select here, and paste the star. Paste the star. Good. So I will click here again and paste the star so and then publish that so now the two of them is working i don't want to keep on refreshing the page so i'll close this come back here and click on the eye icon here so that next time i don't have to refresh the page again it will do it automatically after saving it so you see the way it is moving now let us continue i don't want to have this here so i will just remove the one from there if you want to keep it fine let's go down and this is like a services okay so uh that is okay you have to have your you have to add a services to your home page it's very important if you want to make change just go ahead as uh, firm services if you don't you can change it to switch your kind of business that you are doing and then digital marketing you can just change it you add the description okay so here too you can just click here you change the heading the title you add a description okay simple as that okay now this one is to me is cool okay you have today's like um you have to you want to show the kind of services to your client okay that's what you do so uh we don't have to remove this to me it's good to have it here so just change it because this one is talking about subscribers okay but this one is like a business website so you can just change hit, click there then here you make it um happy customers or customers okay or clients okay good so that you you mean you have 459 uh k uh it's not k k is too much okay so just 450 okay and then the project done and that is we have 300 project if 
our client is 450 then i'm expecting to have a project of about um 600 or 600 plus okay something of that sort and then here we can make it music okay uh yeah because this this is not a music if it's your eyes it's about music website that is cool okay but you have to change it okay just to suit your brand or something of that sort okay so let me go um and as we have video here we will change that okay so i think we should if you have a services here then we have to display some of our work okay and i don't want to have six of them here i would rather delete one so that you only have three okay so this one is like i can click here and write portfolio and i want to remove this test from there the two okay so that's portfolio and i can link this one i can just click on that change it to uh, that is view or project okay so view or project okay so after that you can link this page to your portfolio just that we have not created a portfolio let me enter portfolio and see see we don't have portfolio page okay so let me put the hash there okay and leave it for her good let's see it's good so if here is our portfolio then we need to change this okay so this is what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to remove it and add my own uh, images okay so what i'm going to do is uh, let me click there i'm going to delete them so i will just delete all of them from here okay and i'll delete this one too good oh okay no problem so this is what I, what we are going to do i will just drag this oh okay good so we can put it inside this one good and that is it okay view all projects and okay portfolio okay good so we are going to put our portfolio here let me remove this and this commercial good so i'm going to put the portfolio here good so this is our portfolio okay so this is what i'm going to do i can just search for gallery this one and put it here good and i'm going to select the images from the computer i think i have some images here okay so let me go to maybe die and here no let me go back tutorials i have screenshots here and this one i can select all the images here and upload them okay good so i can just add them and that's it so we have all the images here this is what i'm going to do i'm going to make some change here come back to star or i can just click here okay so let's go down sorry uh the image size i just want to have full okay the full one is okay good and then uh, i want to have three for desktop okay three three is good yeah three or if if i don't like it this way i can just click here uh, or it's the same thing it's the same thing so let's proceed okay good this this is inside another container and that is something i don't like okay so i'm going to 
add another container here select this select this one okay uh, i think it's the same thing okay so let's maintain this one good so three three uh let me select here again okay let me go down okay so here i will make it far media is okay okay the light box yes okay and then okay so let's go to star here and border radius i don't want to add any border so let me publish that and desktop i think there's is six here how many are here that is about now but um, which is too much so let me remove some so i just want to add about three of them okay let me make it three good that is nice oh it's four so i have to remove another one okay so let me remove this okay so now it's three i can publish that come back here and check you see it has uh okay so we have the portfolio and we have view all project is here oh and another one is on top here please subscribe to this channel like comment you can even share so that others can also benefit from this course so we have one button here and another one here which i don't like that so let me remove this so you only use that okay cool okay so let me check the mobile view of the site tablet and the tablet is okay and then the mobile two is okay let me go to the desktop okay good so over here you see i just want to add something here i don't like this let me see if i can drag this and drop it inside this one good good so now it's inside this container and let's see okay there's no way i can add this one here so what i can do is i can just pick another container put it here click here select this arrow sign then drag another container and put it inside good so because of that i can just duplicate this just to have two containers so that i will put this test inside this one then the button this one will come inside this one so that i can delete this okay good the reason why i'm doing this i just want all of them to have only one main container okay right now i can just click here uh i can click here just to leave a space between this and this one so i will go here and go to margin put about 50 okay so that is to create a space for that good now right now you see all the things here has a different background now let me show you here let's come back here you see here the color here and here are not the same okay the colors are not the same that's what i'm going to do and even look at this one the background color is different from this one so i'm going to use the color picker and select this one come back here and i'm going to let's go back here select here and use the color picker okay or i can just select here select this one click here then enter the color okay good so i can publish that now let's come back here and let's see the change okay you see this one is now having a different color okay and that is cool and i want to leave a space it's too close to that so let's come back here i want to leave a space at the bottom okay so over here i will just okay you see okay so i'll rather go for pattern so for that means let me leave 70 okay good 
oh no it no work no i don't want that let me leave it here or rather select this one okay then come back here click here and leave about 70 there good and that is nice and then this one on top here too i have to do the same but it will be 70 some like 50 and publish it yes i want everything to look nice and neat okay good now let's go down here and i think it's so amazing it's beautiful okay the, the margin here is very small let me click here again the main one and we have margin of 35 let me make it 50 and publish it let's come back here and check you see uh, it's now it's k okay so here you can decide to add logo of your project work or client your client work something of that sort okay just change them it's easy to change okay you have to design some then you change all of them okay good so this one is just a blog post okay let me remove this it's a blog post so uh you see and the test here is like a dummy test okay you don't have to change anything all that you need to do is go is to go to the back end here then you delete the post okay so you go to post all the posts are here okay so you have to delete it then you write your own okay. so i'm going to click delete apply okay so i'll go to trash and empty the trash okay so let's go back and see if you'll be able to see the posts again so as you can see it's no more there it's gone okay though uh, we have the title there but the content is not there so let me show you how to add the content let's come back here okay so let's go back i'm going to show you how to add blog post to your website so i'll go to dashboard okay then you go to post add new post okay now we have to enter the title of the post that is how to create a professional website okay okay so i will just add a dummy test here i have a test here i'm going to copy the paragraph and paste it here oh wow so let me copy it again okay i think i have to copy here go back here and paste it so it has been added right now what can i do let's come back to post and then here i have to add the category this post is about what uh, i have to add a new category and that is a website it can be just website okay add a category so it has been added and then we have to add the featured image you see there was some image displaying here okay so you have to add that image in order to see that okay so let me click here i'm going to select some from here okay i'm going to select some from here so let me let's say i want to use this one and then insert it i will then publish the publish the post so let's come back to the front end and refresh the page you see we now have the post here good you see it has come okay good so we can keep on adding it so just to fill this space okay yeah you have to add post post is another way of getting traffic to your website okay good and when we come here we will see the only one post we just added okay as you can see so far so good you see this website is not about showing you how to design the website from scratch or complete the whole project but i just want to show you the easy the easiest way you can create a website for your clients okay 
sometimes you don't have to start from scratch okay sometimes it becomes so difficult building a website from scratch okay unless you have all the picture in mind so all that i want to say is um uh, thank you for watching uh we will end here and uh watch out for the next video and that one is uh, i'm going to show you another way or where you can get a template because it may happen that you may go to the broski the broski template you may go there and the template there may not uh it will be that something that you need for that project work or you you may not get a suitable template to work on that particular project okay for instance i've not seen any uh what do you call it school websites on the broski template okay there is no school template over there so in case you need a template for school where can you get some so i'm going to show you another platform and how to import everything so keep on watching thank you for watching bye bye